hat fishing. I swear there are new words popping up every single day. I just can't, I can't even keep up anymore. By the way, this week we have a story from the ever benevolent Lad Bible and their amazing journalistic skills. And basically it's this 23 year old guy who wears hats and comb overs in his dating profiles to kind of hide that he has like a receding hairline. And it's something I call my eye just because, I mean, if you know me, you know that I like to wear hats. I mean, in all my videos, I'm kind of wearing a hat. And it's not because like, I really have a problem with my hair or anything. It's just because, no, that it is. Because it's just so much easier just to chuck on a hat as opposed to like actually doing anything with my hair. Especially like during lockdown when I'm getting like less haircuts. It just, yeah. But anyway, so yeah, this story is just about this guy who says he hat fishes people. And I think with social media in general, I think like we can all say, we can all come to terms that what we see on social media isn't real. And I think when it comes to like dating apps and dating profiles, I think the pictures and information we put out there is solely because we want to attract the kind of people that we're attracted to or that we want to attract. So we may take selfies at certain angles because we think it makes our face look better or we may smile and not show any teeth because we don't really like what's going on with our teeth like there's so much things that we do in terms of what we post on social media and especially what we in terms of what we post on dating profiles just because we we're trying to put out the best possible version of ourselves. and i think if this guy who may or may not be losing his hair thinks he looks good in hats or in comb overs then i don't think it's anything necessarily wrong with presenting that in your dating profiles it's just the name of the game and i think when you're on dating profiles you kind of expect that what you're getting on their profile isn't the full story you know that there's going to be more you know that when you meet this person it's going to be stuff that you didn't really pick up on in their dating profile i think that's just something you need to come to terms with and there's something that you need to expect and i think in terms of hair loss and receding hairlines in general i think it's something that a lot of guys like feel very self-conscious about so it makes perfect sense that you're going to go through certain lengths to try and like hide this or masquerade it in your dating profile and i think when reading this story it i mean it proved the point of why he did it in the first place because if you go on to read there was a story of how this woman where she went back with this guy this baseball guy and she just thought he wore baseball caps because he was a baseball player when in fact she had like a receding hairline and then they went back to his place and they were you know kissing or whatever and then she pulled off his hat and then found out that he was losing his hair and she was kind of taken out of the mood so it kind of proves that hair loss is something that women some women do care about so in that sense it makes sense in my mind why a guy would want to cover that up in his in his dating profile but also having said that if you yourself feel like you look good in hats then again you should just be able to go ahead and present the best possible version of yourself in your dating profile but as i said hair loss is a natural occurrence in most men it's not something that we can control it's not something that can be stopped and i think it is a difficult position to be in to kind of judge someone or have certain preferences because of someone's immutable characteristic. But I mean, we all have them and I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with it. Um, even though on face value, it may seem like you've been a bit shallow. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think if a woman wants a guy with a full head of hair, then she should be able to have that preference. It's not a problem. But the fact of the matter is a lot of guys are losing their hair and it actually might be a bit hard for you to find someone who has a full head of hair, depending on what age you are and what age you're looking for. But also the thing about it as well is that you may find a guy that has a full head of hair now but then give it a couple of years and in fact he's bolder than the person that you rejected for being bald in the first place but yeah i don't think anyone should feel bad about something about their body that they literally can't control i understand why you may want to hide it um to certain people but i don't think you should necessarily feel feel bad about it i think when it comes to online dating as well i think it's probably always best to be as upfront as you can but again i don't think people should be necessarily forced to do that because i think eventually it will come out eventually the person that you're seeing will will find out whatever it is that you're feeling self-conscious about and hopefully 
they can take it in stride then it's not that big of a deal but i think if you're going to certain lengths to hide something then i don't think you can be surprised when it comes and bites you in the ass and i don't think that reflects bad on either party i think if it comes out that you are with a guy who has less head than you thought he did i don't think it's necessarily bad of him in the first place for kind of hiding that but i don't think it's bad on you also for having certain feelings about that either because the thing with dating as well with dating apps in particular is that no matter how much someone presents themselves online we always kind of create our own um, image and our own story for people and the reality of the situation is when it comes to it when we meet them it's not they don't match you know there's always going to be some things that we miss or some things that we didn't quite catch initially and it may be that someone's just losing their hair it may not be but at the end of the day don't make people feel bad about losing their hair but also let people have their preferences and if someone's someone with full head of hair then yeah that's gonna happen but just keep it 100 try and be as upfront as you can it always comes out in the end and if you know that women out there care about if men have a full head of hair then if you're hiding it then you should expect it to not end well for you if that made any sense whatsoever it may not have but yeah and that's my thoughts on that if you want more then don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.